OpenAI just warned that its own new AI product could increase the risk of biological weapons. And that warning didn't come from critics, regulators, or outside watchdogs. It came directly from OpenAI. The company behind ChatGPT publicly said its newest tool, called ChatGPT Agent, has what it classifies as a high probability for biological risk. That label matters, because OpenAI rarely uses it especially for products meant for everyday users. This isn't about a bug or a misuse edge case. It's about a capability shift. And that shift raises questions that go far beyond one feature or one release. This isn't about what the tool can do today. It's about what AI just became. What exactly did OpenAI release? ChatGPT agent is not just a smarter chatbot. It's an agentic system, which means it's designed to take actions on users' behalf rather than just respond to prompts. Instead of stopping at answers, it can move through tasks step by step. It can browse the web, open and compare multiple sources, extract relevant information, and then organize that information into usable outputs. That might mean creating a spreadsheet, drafting a document, building a slide deck, or compiling research across dozens of pages without constant user input. What makes this different from traditional chat GPT is execution. Normal chatbots wait for instructions at every step. Chat GPT agent can plan a workflow, carry it out, check results, and continue until the task is finished. OpenAI built this by combining its earlier operator agent, which could interact with web interfaces. With deep research, a system designed to handle complex, multi-stage investigations. The result is a single tool that can reason, act, and adapt across tools. And this didn't happen in isolation. Google and Anthropic are releasing similar agent systems, all aimed at the same goal, AI that can independently handle real work. Autonomy is the breakthrough, and autonomy is where new risks begin. The warning that changed everything. Alongside the launch, OpenAI published a safety assessment using its internal preparedness framework. This framework is designed to evaluate risks tied to severe harm, including chemical and biological threats. ChatGPT agent was classified as having a high capability for bio-risk. In OpenAI's words, that means the system could provide meaningful assistance to novice users attempting to create known biological or chemical threats. The company emphasized that this is a precautionary label and not evidence of real-world misuse. But it still triggered heightened safeguards. OpenAI researchers also acknowledged uncertainty. They can't say for sure the model would enable severe harm, but releasing it without mitigation would have been irresponsible. This is the first time OpenAI openly admitted the capability crossed a dangerous line. Why biology is different from other AI risks? Biological threats work very differently from nuclear or radiological ones. Nuclear risks are constrained by access to rare materials, specialized facilities, and highly visible infrastructure. Biology doesn't have those barriers. In many cases, the limiting factor isn't equipment. It's knowledge, technique, and procedural guidance. That's where advanced AI meaningfully changes the equation. Modern models don't just retrieve information from paper or databases. They compress expertise. Tasks that once required years of training can be broken down into step-by-step -step reasoning, troubleshooting when things fail, and optimizing processes based on feedback. And agentic systems amplify this effect even further. They can plan workflows, sequence actions, adjust instructions mid-process, and fill in gaps when outcomes don't match expectations. OpenAI has emphasized that the concern here is not the invention of entirely new weapons. It's the lowering of barriers to known biological and chemical threats. When specialized knowledge becomes cheap, structured, and repeatable, the scale of potential misuse increases. That's what makes biological risk fundamentally different.
And this idea of AI compressing expertise isn't limited to biology. We're seeing the same pattern show up in creative and analytical tools as well. One example is Overseer OS, an AI operating system built for creators that analyzes YouTube channels and breaks down what's working so strategies can be modeled instead of guessed. If you're curious, there's a free link in the description. Now, let's zoom back in to what this means at a broader level. Safeguards exist, but notice when they activate. OpenAI says ChatGPT agent includes multiple layers of protection. These include refusing certain prompts, flagging potentially dangerous requests, and routing cases to expert review and monitoring for signs of misuse. The company has also said it can respond quickly if issues emerge. All of that matters, but timing matters too. These safeguards respond after interaction begins. They manage behavior, not capability. The underlying system still exists with the same potential. Enforcement becomes probabilistic rather than absolute. OpenAI has been careful not to frame this as a failure, but as a trade-off. Control didn't come first. Deployment did. This isn't an isolated incident. What makes the ChatGPT agent warning stand out is that it fits a broader pattern scientists and security researchers have been flagging across multiple fields, not just AI chat tools. In biological research, multiple studies have shown that AI models built for legitimate drug discovery can be repurposed with minimal changes. In one widely cited experiment, researchers used a pharmaceutical design model and within hours generated tens of thousands of chemical compounds predicted to be highly toxic. The model wasn't manufacturing. It was doing exactly what it was optimized to do, just applied in a different context. In defense, autonomous weapon systems are already being tested and deployed with reduced human involvement. These systems are designed to identify targets, analyze environments, and act faster than humans can respond. The trade-off is clear. Speed increases, but human judgment and ethical oversight become thinner. In cybersecurity, AI is now used to automate phishing campaigns, scan for software vulnerabilities, and adapt attacks in real time. Security firms have warned that AI-driven attacks evolve faster than traditional defenses could keep up with. These developments aren't isolated failures or edge cases. They reflect the same underlying shift. Systems are being designed to act with more independence and less friction different domains, identical trajectory. The agent arms race is the real accelerator. This shift didn't happen in a vacuum. OpenAI is competing directly with Google, Anthropic, and other major AI labs that are racing to deploy agents capable of handling real, end-to-end -end work. Google's been integrating agentic capabilities into its productivity and research tools. Anthropic has demonstrated models designed to plan, reason, and execute tasks with minimal guidance. Across the industry, agents are being positioned as the next layer on top of chatbots. Not a replacement, but an evolution toward systems that can operate inside real workflows. These tools are marketed around workflow automation, productivity gains, and enterprise adoption at scale. For companies, that translates directly into cost savings and competitive advantage. Being first matters. Early movers set expectations, attract developers, and lock in customers. In that environment, hesitation carries its own risks. No major lab wants to be the one that slows down while competitors ship. OpenAI's own release materials frame agents as a core strategic direction, not a side experiment. That leads to a familiar pattern seen throughout tech history. New capabilities roll out quickly, safeguards are added in parallel, caution competes with speed, and speed usually wins. This isn't recklessness, it's competition operating under real commercial pressure. The most dangerous shift isn't technical. What's striking about this launch isn't panic or controversy, it's how calmly it was announced. 
There was no emergency language, no pause and deployment, no dramatic warning to the public, just a technical classification, mitigation details, and a product rollout. That tone matters. It signals how quickly extraordinary capabilities are becoming normal. A warning that would have sounded alarming a few years ago now reads like a routine safety note. Over time, that normalization changes expectations. Today's red flag becomes tomorrow's accepted feature. The risk here isn't fear, it's familiarity. When powerful systems are introduced quietly and incrementally, society adapts before fully understanding what changed. And that shift may be harder to reverse than any technical decision. What this breakthrough actually signals. It's important to be clear about what this moment represents. This is not just a story about bioweapons. It's a signal about how AI systems are changing in general. ChatGPT agent represents a shift from assistive tools to operational systems. These models don't just help humans think. They help humans act. They plan workflows, execute steps, adjusts when something fails, and move forward without constant supervision. That combination of autonomy and knowledge amplification shows up across many domains, not just biology. Research, cybersecurity, logistics, finance, and defense are all moving in the same direction. Human oversight's still there, but it's thinner than before. The line that was crossed here is subtle, but important. AI is no longer just responding. It's doing. And once systems operate at that level, rolling back capability becomes far more difficult than adding safeguards later. What makes this movement worth paying attention to is who raised the concern. OpenAI warned about this themselves. They didn't wait for a scandal or a misuse case. They flagged the risk before anything publicly went wrong. That's not an accusation. It's a signal. The builders of these systems are acknowledging that capability is moving faster than certainty. The release of ChatGPT agent wasn't dramatic. It was calm, technical, and procedural. That's exactly why it matters. When warnings arrive quietly, they're easier to ignore. The question isn't about whether this technology is good or bad. It's whether society is prepared for tools that can act with increasing independence. If the people building them are already cautious, it might be worth asking why. This new AI breakthrough isn't good news. Not because it's evil, but because we're not ready for what it enables. If you made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments. And if you're curious about Overseer OS, the AI tool we mentioned that breaks down what's working on YouTube, there's a link in the description. For more topics like this, check out the video that you see on your screen right now. Thanks for watching.